a citizen. The community coming together this morning to help adopt out three puppies left for dead in a Phoenix dumpster. The puppies found Monday abandoned inside of a duffel bag near 7th Avenue and Baseline. Well, our Mark Thompson is live, offering some hope this morning from the Arizona Humane Society's Sunny Slope campus. I have a feeling that these little babies are going to get some great forever homes. Good morning. Yeah, absolutely. Kaylee and Nick, we are changing this story from one of tragedy to one of hope. These are the stars of the show here this morning. We're here at the Arizona Humane Society. Three puppies that were left abandoned but are now ready for adoption. I'm joined here this morning by Kelsey Dickerson with the Arizona Humane Society. So tell me how these puppies came into your care. They're so playful and energetic and uh, how you're going to adopt them out here this morning. Yeah, so we're so fortunate. Um, a good Samaritan actually called us and one of our animal cruelty investigators here at the Arizona Humane Society responded to a call of five puppies abandoned in a duffel bag in a dumpster off of 7th Avenue and Baseline here in Phoenix. Um, unfortunately, when she arrived, two were already deceased. Um, but these three girls, they are doing so good. They just got their space yesterday, and they're going to be available for adoption here at 11 o'clock at our Sunny Slope campus. Um, but this is exactly the work that the Arizona Humane Society does. We care for the sick, injured, and abused animals here in the Valley, and last year alone, our cruelty investigators went on more than 7,400 suspected cruelty calls. So these guys have a lot of attention, so how do you plan to adopt them out if there's a lot of interest, maybe more than three families interested in taking them home? Yeah, of course. So they've definitely been getting a lot of attention, and we are so thankful to everyone who supports the Arizona Humane Society through adoption or fostering or donating. But these little girls are going to be available today at 11 o'clock at our Sunny Slope campus. Um, and what we're going to do, if there's a lot of people, we're going to do a raffle just to make sure that it's fair. Um, but if you come down and you're looking to adopt and you aren't quite able to take these girls home, we have dozens who are looking for their forever homes. Um, and that's the best way that you can save a life because you're not only saving these pups, you're also saving or creating that much needed kennel space for our animal cruelty investigators to keep on bringing other animals in need. And, and speaking of which, they haven't really found who left these puppies abandoned yet, but uh, this is something that happens more than people think. Yeah, this happens every single day. So our animal cruelty investigators and our emergency animal medical technicians work 365 days a year. And like I mentioned, they went on over 70 400 calls last year, but the Arizona Humane Society takes in over 16,000 pets every single year who have stories just as crazy, just as incredible as these ones. Um, but like I mentioned, we couldn't do the work that we do at the Arizona Humane Society without the community support. So if you can't adopt, there are so many ways you can help. You can foster, you can donate, and of course, um, just coming down and volunteering your time is going to help these uh, little ones in need. Kelsey Dickerson, thank you so much for joining us this morning. These puppies available at 11 o'clock. Come on down and provide them with a forever home. In Phoenix, Mark Thompson, ABC 15, Arizona.